So let's begin by understanding what's currently happening to our waste. So on average, a person uh, produces at least four tons of waste per day, four pounds of waste. Just uh, look at your dustbins and uh, your candy wrappers, your noodles and chips packets, plastic bottles, cigarette butts and whatnot. The journey of your waste does not end with the dustbin at home. The journey beyond your dustbin is the most important thing. So beyond the dustbin, it needs to reach somewhere, right? But where? You may say a recycling unit, but uh, is it really so? It is estimated that only 10% of all the waste that you dispose is actually recycled. That means a whopping 90% of the waste that you throw away does not get recycled. Instead, the remaining waste goes into a landfill or is dumped into oceans anywhere but near you. So the thing is, we want to be as far away from waste as possible. One of the questions is, paper is biodegradable, right? People always say that they dump paper because they know it will biodegrade within six months. But uh, is it really so? I have visited over 30 landfills and to my surprise, I have found perfectly readable newspapers from over 30 years ago. But there are so many conditions that needs to be fulfilled for a material to biodegrade. Landfills are not meant for that. So it leaves majority of the waste as is, meaning it will take beyond our lifetimes to even decompose. That's even true for paper. Think about it for plastic then. Plastic stays on the face of the planet, never to biodegrade, ever. Now the naysayers will say, but hey, it will degrade in 4,000 years. Let's talk realistic timelines, can we? Because all of the toothbrushes that we have used in our lives are still there in the world somewhere. Think about it for a minute. Unless we solve waste, we don't have a planet B. Landfills and ocean dumping is now so rampant. Now back to the original thought. All of the waste that doesn't get recycled ends up in the landfills or oceans. Did you know that the world's largest dump yard is actually not on land, but is in the ocean, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? Why do we have so much of non-recycled waste? That's because we adopt a linear, which is a straight line approach. Now take the new materials, make the products, use the product and waste the product and the packaging. A new way of thinking is needed. Consider this, you eat the chips, but you don't eat the cover of the chips. You use the toothbrush, but not the box of the toothbrush. You drink the water, but not the plastic bottle. You need the product, but you don't need the packaging. Can you do something with the packaging that will ensure that it isn't dumped into oceans or landfills? Can you uh, use it again or make something with it that is useful? So what if we make the line a circle? What if we use the plastic bottle to fill other liquids at home? Uh, what if you use the plastic bottle, cut it up and use it as a bird feeder? What if you shred the plastic bottle and use it to make uh, t-shirts? So you will take that one plastic bottle out of landfills or the ocean bed. That's how you go from a line to a circle. 